Hey guys, so I got a little quick little dilemma here. I'm trying to set up someone's fire stick, right? And the problem is that they forgot their remote. So usually you can actually easily pair any, you know, remote control for your fire stick, right? By holding down this home button. Now the problem is, it's not pairing with this fire stick, okay? So that means I can't set up to the network to factory reset the device and get it set up for them. So I grabbed my remote, held the button down, and let it, you know, try to sync up to get into the pairing mode and it will not pair. I've tried literally six different um, remotes and um, none of them will work. So it'll go into the little amber and it's supposed to turn blue when it's getting ready to pair and it will not pair. Uh, this remote right here that I've tried as well, along with all the other remotes from brand new devices that will not work. So I tried to pair the remotes with other Fire Sticks and older devices as well, and they pair just fine. So it's actually something going on with this actual Fire Stick right here. Then I started thinking, okay, well I can download the uh, Fire TV remote app, but the problem is it's not connected to the Wi-Fi here at my house. So I cannot use that application because it's not gonna uh, see the Fire Stick to pair so that I can pair another remote to it. So I'm gonna show you guys a solution. Just give me one sec and let me grab my stuff. Now, if you guys seen my past videos before, I did make a video on this little um, keyboard that you can connect to your Fire Stick or your Cube. And I made a video on the H9 um, keyboard as well. I actually recommend this one over the other one because it has the little context menu button right here, which you need on the uh, Silk browser for your Amazon Fire Stick. But for this video, I'm actually gonna use my computer keyboard because it's a little bit fuller size and it has a built-in mouse. These have a built-in mouse as well, but we're gonna use this one right here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna bring back this OTG cable right here. And as you can see, I already have my little USB connected to it. So I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your Fire Stick responsive using this keyboard so that we can go ahead and factory reset or connect to our network. All right guys, so I grabbed all my wires. So just gonna show you guys what this is. This is gonna be the wall adapter that comes with your device. This cable is connected to the actual original uh, power cable to your fire stick and it's going to be connected to the end of the OTG cable which is going to be having the USB connector right here your little transmitter to your mouse or your keyboard a mouse might work for this as well so you might want to try that first and then the other end is going to be connected to the power right here to your actual fire stick okay so this is just a little splitter I have when I do multiple devices at once so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and connect this to power and I'm going to show you guys that you will have um, the keyboard being responsive to your fire stick. So give me a second. As you can see, I just went ahead and connected that right there. And now the fire stick is booting up. So I'm recording this on the fly, you guys. There's not gonna be no kind of video editing or anything like that. I am uh, pausing the video as I go along just so it won't be taking longer, but we're gonna go ahead and just wait for this thing to load up and hopefully we'll be good to go because I do not have all day to sit there and try to pair these remotes when they don't wanna cooperate with me. So I'll just go ahead and just wait for this to, to finish up. All right guys, so this is actually already booted up and we'll go ahead and start messing with their little mouse. You can kind of see it's actually already responsive. So I'm gonna go ahead and just connect to my Wi-Fi now. And I am using my little keyboard here. So this little OTG cable, it's about $3 on eBay. Uh, you might be able to find them on Amazon. They'll be a little bit more expensive, but if you got a Fire Stick or anything, I highly recommend you buy one of these just in case you either want to use an extended keyboard um, or external keyboard, I'm sorry, or one of these little guys right here. And like I said, I do prefer the H9 keyboard if you're going to go that route. But if you want a bigger one, you can go ahead and use that. I personally like to use the remote keyboards. I thought it was a cool idea at the beginning, but they're more advanced with the Alexa remote. Okay, you can talk to it um, other than the whole little keyboard thing. But other than that, let's get back to the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here because I wanna factory reset this thing. So let me just type this in. So it's like it's connecting. And once this thing's connected, I'm actually gonna go ahead and factory reset this thing and hopefully I can get my uh, device to sync back with my control. The guy said he had a Samsung TV remote control in it. So I'm thinking that probably bugged it out or something, but I just want to factory reset this, but we'll go from here. At least I know I could do it this way. So reset to factory. 
defaults. And that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that kind of helps you guys out if you're stuck. And I'll report back in the video whether or not this helped me pair up one of these controls. Because like I said, I actually use these remotes to pair up other fire sticks and they work just fine. So I'm thinking it's this little guy right here just bugging out. So yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks. Okay guys, so I'm right back. Let's see if we can get this fire stick remote to pair. This is the original one that I was trying to pair um, originally. It's not the one that actually goes with this fire stick because he forgot that at home. But let's go ahead and try to get this thing to pair by holding down this home button and see how long it takes for it to actually work. You know, just holding down the home button, same little amber light. There it goes. Bam. That's all it was, man. The thing was just glitching out. So yeah, that actually did fix the issue. So hopefully uh, if you guys have that similar issue, you can order your little OTG cable and you can fix your issue with uh, your remotes not connecting. So it wasn't the actual fire stick before you actually buy the fire stick remote. Just try getting the little $3 cable because the new remote is going to cost you like $30 brand new uh, for the like the 4K volume, uh, 4K fire stick remote, um, the ones with the little Alexa. You can find a cheaper one on OfferUp or Craigslist probably, but go ahead and just buy this OTG cable. You might, you know, find it handy later on when you're uh, having these kind of issues. But yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Simple little video. Uh, not much to it. I mean, I had to think outside of the boxes. I, even I wasn't thinking straight there for a minute and I forgot all about that. But yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching.